Hallo und herzlich willkommen zurück zu The Beginners Guide. So, Titelauswahl. Und jetzt geht es Kapitel 7 nach unten. Mal gucken. Bin ja gespannt. Das Spiel ist so cool. Und im Video Sandy Purple kann man springen. Oben geblieben ist Let's talk about video game development for a second. Every video game runs on what's called an engine, which determines what the game can and cannot do. So in other words, the engine is a set of tools for game development. To make all of these games, Coda is using an engine called Source. Like all engines, Source has certain things that it does well, and it has certain things that it does poorly. One of the things that it does very well is boxy linear corridors. That's why so many of Coda's games are set in these large, flat, empty rooms, is just because he's working with what the engine does well. The tools available to the creator shape what kinds of creative work they're going to end up making. You might consider paying attention to the architecture in Coda's games, to notice how they seem to stem from an engine that's very good at producing linear, boxy corridors. Haus einfach was zu programmieren, aber irgendwann fiel mir, glaube ich, an das Programmieren, wenn ich nie. Ah, nein, 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 nicht sterben. Okay. Okay, ich lande einfach in der Wüste. Muss ich wieder hoch? Ich bin wieder hoch. Also, kleine Anführungsspitze machen ist eigentlich voll cool, das will ich selbst gerne machen. Kann das was? Kann ich da dran? This prison, funny enough, in Coda's original design, the door stayed shut for a full hour before letting you go. If you don't mind, I think we're gonna skip that. This is something that he and I used to argue about a lot. You know, whether a game ought to actually be playable, whether it means anything if no one can get through it. And I would always defend that, you know, all this work goes into the game, why not make it playable and accessible? And so we just got into heated arguments over it, and there was one time that after one of these conversations, he went home, and a day or two later, he sent me a zip file entitled Playable Games that was full of hundreds of individual games, each of which was just an empty box that you walked around in and nothing else. Believe me, I played every single one of those just to find out if there was like a gag hidden somewhere. 
there wasn't. It's the puzzle again, with the exact same solution as the last time. There's still no clear indication of what makes this puzzle so special that Coda is going to return to it over and over. But I promise I'll share with you my interpretation very shortly. Warum macht das nicht jetzt? Ganz einfach. Plot. Hey, man sieht nicht den Punkt vom Universum, oder? Geil! Ja, vielleicht doch, aber es fällt nicht so auf. Here, Coda begins using a kind of dialogue system that he fashioned out of the engine's chat capabilities. Use the one, two, three buttons on your keyboard to respond. Hey, Luke, was ist da oben? Was ist da oben? Ja, da gab es eine Welt, die ganz weiß war. Das ist die Welt da oben. Du warst wirklich dort. Jetzt etwas Wichtiges. Musstest du ein Rätsel mit zwei Türen und Schaltern lösen? Darüber möchte ich nicht mit dir reden, schließlich kennen wir uns noch gar nicht. Piss! Du, du verstehst nicht. Wir stecken hier fest. Das wäre jetzt unser einziger Ausweg. Aber wir müssen es lösen. Das meint ihr. Aber glaubt mir, das möchte ich nicht wirklich. Nein, aber das ist wichtig. Wir müssen doch hinkommen. Verstehst du nicht? Das ist das Wichtigste auf der Welt. Auf der Welt. Wir müssen aus dem Gefängnis entkommen. Es muss ein Ende geben. Es gibt nichts, was ich mir mehr wünsche. And so we make one last descent down to the final floor of the level. It's a lamppost. Okay, I can't tell you quite why, but for some reason, Coda fixates on this lamppost. It's going to appear at the end of every single one of his games from here on out. I'll tell you what I think. Uh, I think that up to this point, you know, he's been making really strange and abstract games with no clear purpose, and maybe you can only float around in that headspace for so long. Because now he wants something to hold on to. He wants a reference point. He wants the work to be leading to something. He wants a destination, which is what this lamppost is. It's a destination. We're going to see it in the work as well. His games are just going to become a lot more cohesive, a lot more fully developed, with more of a clear idea behind them. And as we go, that idea will get clearer and clearer and clearer. Alles klar. Um, nächstes Spiel. Das ist aber sehr schön gemacht. Apfel trifft das immer ein. Diese Spiel ist mit Welt verbunden. Beim Herumlaufen kannst du nur das Bild hinterlassen. Alle Notizen, die du siehst, wurden von anderen Spielen hinterlassen. Warum? Von wegen. 
So first off, I'm sure you can deduce this, but this game is not connected to the internet. All of the notes that you're gonna see have been written by Coda. This was actually the first game of his that I ever played. This was shortly after I met him at a weekend game jam in Sacramento, where I grew up. I saw him working on this very level, and it was just so different from anything that anyone else was doing. So right away I was like, I have to be friends with this person. In retrospect, I think I was probably a bit too pushy trying to get his attention. Uh, I was over-enthusiastic. But he was very gracious about it and very patient with me. And I cooled off eventually. Oh, feel free to skip over any of these notes if they're not doing anything for you. Nothing extra is going to happen if you read all of them. Either way, to me they convey a sense of loneliness. I see this person who's filled with thoughts and feelings and beliefs and has no way to express them except as scattered and unheard voices in a game that wasn't meant to be played. Alles klar. Ich reden. But it's ironic, isn't it, that in playing this game and seeing how alone Coda often felt, that we get to know him better and actually kind of connect with him. And I have to be honest with you, this idea is really seductive to me, that I could just play someone's game and see the voices in their head and, and get to know them better and have to do less of the messy in-person socializing. I could just get to know you through your work. I think this is why I always liked Coda's games so much, is because it felt like they let me have that connection. I felt as though he was inviting me personally into his world. And then I feel less lonely too. This. Oh, that's not me. These are really cool ideas for players. Really cool ideas for players. Actually, this is an abstract. This is a player to release. This is actually a really good idea. This is more of a really psychological backstory. Melde. Es ist bunt. Wenn Picasso einen Blumentopf fallen lässt, ist es Kunst. Wenn du einen Blumentopf fallen lässt, bist du ungeschickt. Erkläre den Sinn. Er hat das Spiel nicht geschafft. At the end of this level, we're going to see the puzzle again. And here, I'll tell you what I think the puzzle means. Each of these games represents an idea that was on Coda's mind at the time that he was making it. And the puzzle is a way of closing the door on a previous chapter of his life before moving on to the next one. In each of his games, after exploring a theme that, you know, he might find difficult, Coda can then place this puzzle that he knows has a reliable solution, he understands exactly how it works, and so it gives him a simple mechanism for moving on. Wie inkompetent seid ihr eigentlich? Leute, and because there's this dark area between ja, the doors, ja a space so between nice. spaces, before you move on, you get to pause. Just for a moment, a few seconds to reflect on and let go of the events that led you here. To step back and connect the pieces together. To grasp at that elusive bigger picture. Ich muss mir irgendwas von dir hören. 
Sprich mit mir, bitte. Warum verlierst du das Schwert zu sprechen? Sprich, 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 sprich. Oh Gott, bitte lass es kein Bug sein. Oh, das tut so in Ordnung. Okay, this one is tough. It's gonna kind of just spin its own wheels for a few minutes. Hang with it. See, like, this is it, the whole game. And there's nothing that's particularly interesting about it. You just walk to the end of a hallway. Except, for some reason, Cody gets really fixated on this prison that has all of this modern furniture. And I don't know why, but he decides he needs to revisit this prison. He's gonna start over, use the same assets, turn it into something else. Okay, cool. Here's version two. Cool. Huh? Ich will wir sollen ähm, äh, in die Raummitte. Ein Kühlschrank. Das ist kein Kühlschrank. Was ist mit der Wand? Zehn Öfen in einer Reihe. Minecraft. Das sind keine zehn Öfen. Natürlich sind sechs Öfen. Eine 15er LED Einbau. Das ist schon jede Ecke. Cool. Nicht ganz. Wie viel wurden 1935 erfunden? 110 Informationen. There's a bit more to this one, but still, it's not really communicating anything. It, it's kind of just weird for weirdness' sake. <laughs> so, okay, he throws it out and starts over. This time he comes at the prison idea from a different direction. Hello, bitte geh vorwärts. Mit dieser Anleitung kommst du aus dem Gefängnis raus. Folge den Anweisungen genau. Das musst du auf den Tisch klicken. Klick auf den Tisch. Geht da vor dran und dreh nach links. Ich verstehe, ich stehe einfach außen wieder ein. Muss ich mir das merken? Das ist irgendwie so verrückt ein bisschen. Wie sich berührt die Regale? Ich will nicht in mein Gefängnis geworden, das ist voll schön hier. Okay. Zurück. Äh. Äh. Okay. And of course, now the table is gone and you can't begin the chain of events to escape. Okay. Here's a version where there are no bars, but you can't actually get to the well. And then a version where the inside of the prison is the outside and the outside is the inside. Let me just blink you real quick through a few more of these. I mean, he really unloaded on this prison idea. There's nearly a dozen of them. Personally, I think it's awful to watch this. To see a person basically unraveling through their work. And for what? Like, at what point do you just go, eh, maybe there are game ideas other than this prison that I could be working on. But Coda doesn't have that voice telling you to stop. That particular mechanism of defense against awesome. yourself. Hey, Without it, you just mom. spiral. And so he keeps going and going and going and going and going, and then he hits on something, and he likes it, and that's it. He's done. He stops making prisons. This is the very last version of the prison game that he created, and the reason I think it works is that the prison is not actually in it. Ich wohne jetzt hier. Voll schön. Kein Strom, kein Lichter, nur Stress und Hygiene. Alles klar.
Dann hab ich sie gefunden. Dann muss ich jetzt da. Nicht schnell, ich hab's nicht. Hallo? Wer ist da? Hey, ich bin's. Ich bin auf der Flucht aus dem Gefängnis. Du bist ich. Alles klar. Du warst also auch in diesem Gefängnis gefangen. It's a conversation. Ja, ich war im And so this is what Coda wants, da is to be able gerade. to talk to someone, to share what's on his mind, ja, so and to get some good advice from someone who knows. Ja, ist so But the irony is that even in this scenario, you're still talking to yourself. You know, all of these games so far are Coda talking to himself. Ja, das ist echt mies. Ich sag, okay, hast du was ging? Hast du wo ich hingehört? Hm, ja, schon irgendwie. Aber das ist jetzt immer so. Das würde ich gerne ändern. Moment, wenn du ich bist, hast du dann da drin einen Anruf von einer anderen Version von dir selbst bekommen? Nein, ich wollte schon die erste Person auf die Kannst du mir dann sagen, wie man rauskommt? Vielleicht kann ich kommen und dich suchen. Was muss ich tun? Du musst sagen, wie du dich gerade fühlst. Was? So komme ich frei? Wie funktioniert das? Du kannst du nicht wissen, bevor du draußen bist. Das funktioniert. Ehrlich. Okay, ich fürchte mich davor, dass ich nichts ändern wird. <lacht> Weiter. I can see why he considers this a fitting conclusion to the prison games. After all of the obsession and frustration, just to be told by someone you can trust that things are going to be okay. Wouldn't that be nice? So what would it look like if Coda wanted to make a game about talking to someone other than himself? Okay. Hier einmal das Ende. Vielen Dank fürs Zuschauen, <lacht> weil es euch auch Möglichkeit gibt. Das finde ich jedem eh ganz schnell ansehen. Bis dahin. Tschüsschen.